okay welcome to another video uh, in this video we're gonna be playing with some deployments I'm skipping a bit I know I I owe you still uh, the last part of the uh, GPU provider build video uh, but uh, I actually need to do this first I wanted to do this first because this is super interesting uh, so uh, the other we are actually using the provider that I built uh, and uh, that video has, has already been uh, uh, filmed so basically uh, I need to just edit it a bit and it will also go uh, live soon so <coughs> on your left you can see the logs the live logs of the provider of the provider pod and on your left there is the uh, cloudmos deploy and uh, <coughs> Number one you, thing you need to do uh, with your Cloudmos deploy if you want to use that uh, there's basically right now there's two options how you can use the GPU testnet you can either use the CLI or you can use the Cloudmos deploy the Akash console still does not uh, support uh, the GPU testnet but that's coming uh, so yeah for now you have this uh, you need to go down to settings and under network here you need to select the GPU testnet basically that's it um, and your Cloudmos deploy will be will basically use the uh, RPC node uh, of the testnet and the chain will be the testnet uh, what you also need to do is go to your Kepler wallet and create a testnet account um, and fund it I'm gonna leave the there is the official Akash faucet for the testnet where you can fund your account and once uh, you have you will basically be all set for um, you'll be able yeah to use the the GPU testnet mm -hmm. uh, okay that's that's that uh, what uh, what is actually what I wanna show you is uh, uh, Scott Carruthers from uh, the Akash core team has created uh, a deployment for Falcon 40 billion uh, uh, large language model uh, and uh, he has kindly given me permission to uh, to use his uh, code and I uh, have modified it uh, added some stuff to it uh, so it's a bit easier to interact with uh, uh, however I have set it up to use the Falcon 7B uh, which is a smaller uh, uh, LLM uh, it has only 7 billion uh, instructs so uh, instead of 40 billion of the original Fal Falcon 40B uh, but this one is uh, very interesting because we can run this on uh, yeah lower power uh, GPUs basically I believe 16 gigs of uh, video memory is enough to run the Falcon 7B uh, so it's gonna be fun we're gonna do some comparison between uh, a number of providers we're gonna use our own provider which has RTX 3090 actually a couple of the, those cards and we're also gonna uh, and I can even show you that NVIDIA SMI these are the two cards this is the first one this is the second one they have 24 gigs of uh, of memory uh, there are some other providers on the network that have uh, much uh, more powerful cards uh, by much more powerful I mean they have more memory uh, so yeah it'll be fun I'm 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 really I want to know uh, uh, what the difference is so it's uh, and if you have, have watched my first video where I have shown you the hardware uh, watch here watch the difference between the two card temperatures yeah the first card is running at 40 and the second of card is running at 29 uh, degrees centigrade so yeah uh, as I have suspected the, the card that is uh, at the bottom will have uh, cooling issues 
uh, I mean this is far from critical but uh, the card is basically not being used right now so uh, and the fans on that card are running <laughs> much more yeah much faster as you can see than on this one, this card so yeah uh, <coughs> I'll definitely need to do something about that card uh, however yeah I don't plan on uh, on using this in in that way uh, on mainnet, uh, on mainnet, uh, and I plan on uh, using uh, single card per single for every, basically as, uh, one card per server, so there will be no such issues. Okay, uh, let's have some fun. Uh, let's click on deploy. Empty. We're gonna call it Falcon Seven B. And we're gonna paste the SDL. Uh, no, that, that's the. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna paste the SDL. Okay. That's the SDL file that we're gonna be using, and we don't need 16 CPUs. We only need eight. That will be plenty. I also think that for uh, 64 gigs or even 32 might be enough so but i'm gonna leave it like this just so i'm not gonna fiddle with it right now so let's deposit and let's watch here on the in the live um, provider logs and uh, it should uh, pop up here that yeah here we go uh, shut down complete there there is something going on yeah there's something going on but the provider has actually uh, it did bid finally so we can yeah we can accept the bid this is still the testnet so there's you can so we can expect a few bugs here and there so here we go we have won the lease uh, we have received the manifest and uh, we can now watch the um, the deployment process as it goes uh, okay the container image uh, this is sadly I cannot fit more here but uh, it says that uh, the image is, al is already present on the machine if it's not if you're using this on a different uh, provider you it might need to pull it the image is quite big i think it has seven gigabytes so it might take a while for it to um, uh, for it to actually get downloaded and uh, once it does get downloaded uh, you need to do uh, it will need to download the uh, the data set now we are on uh, on uh, gigabit network here. Let's try and get this. Yeah, we're getting a hundred uh, megabytes per second download, so this will take just a minute or two. Uh, and once that is done, uh, we'll be able to uh, to access the the uh, the deployment. Uh, let's actually switch to the other and let's see what do we have here I'm gonna leave this uh, if you type in uh, NVIDIA dash SMI dash L1 this will actually uh, continuously loop the NVIDIA SMI command and uh, we'll be able to see in real time uh, you know what uh, what our cars are doing at which point in time and uh, yeah so that'll be also be informative so we're gonna keep a close watch on this okay there's another data set to be downloaded so it'll take another minute
interesting to see. Uh, I'm guessing that the first card, the hotter card, will actually be utilized here. And if that's the case, this will be a good test uh, to see what kind of stability we're getting out of it. Uh, so pay attention to the... Okay, here we go. The power has increased. The power draw. The temperature has increased. And the memory uh, has also increased. So this is... Uh, that's that. And I haven't even given anything to, uh, uh, haven't even given any work to the card. So let's do it. Let's go to leases and click on the link. And uh, yeah, it's a very primitive interface, but it works. So let's give it uh, some task to do. Write me, uh, me a song about a happy squirrel let's go with that and generate and let's watch here the power draw is going up the memory is also and okay and uh, it's done so basically it took I don't know maybe five seconds for this response uh, okay, as the sun sets in the trees, I ha hear your little happy tunes from the happy little creature with a twinkle in her eyes and a sparkle in the stars. She's always glad to see her friends. Her joy is contagious and everyone in the neighborhood can't help but be happy singing and dancing with glee. The happy little squirrel, the joy. <laughs> yeah, this works. So, uh, let's see if we can uh, come up with something a bit more. Uh, complicated. Write me an essay about uh, Hemingway. Let's go. The power draw has gone up again. We are 300 watt, 320 watt and it's going down. Okay. The old man and the sea Okay, this is one of the Hemingway's most popular books, The Old Man and the Sea. It is a classic piece of literature in which Hemingway's trademark minimalism is applied to the story of an old Cuban fisherman called Santiago. Yeah, uh, that's a more like a short story than an essay, but uh, I'll take it. Um, so there you go. Uh, that's what it looks like on an NVIDIA... RTX 3090. Let's try and uh, deploy the same thing on uh, Falcon 7B-2. Let's do this and we're gonna give... I don't know which uh, actually which card is uh, uh, which provider is utilizing which cards so we're gonna number one we're gonna try and uh, figure that out and uh, after that we're gonna try and give the exact same uh, so the other one is provider Akash web up okay accept bid I think this is one of the official ones okay deploying basically we're gonna give the same exact same task to both of them and try and run them at the same time so yeah uh, hopefully I'll be able to <laughs> be fast enough uh, so yeah okay logs let's see what's going on this this one has a quite a bit uh, faster internet speed this is like two and a half gigabit, gig, gigabits per second so it should uh, take quite a bit shorter uh, actually let me we don't need the command window anymore so I'm just gonna make this one bigger like 
that so we can have a proper view okay downloading shards downloading shards this is done we should be able to start this here we go so we, uh, let's uh, give the same task to the other uh, exact same task to the other uh, machine let's actually go back and go to shell and see nvidia smi what do we have we have an nvidia a100 X sxm okay and it has 40 gigs of uh, of memory so basically this is uh, a comparison between the rtx uh, 3090 and an nvidia a100 so let's I'm gonna start this one first. I expect this one to be a bit slower, and then I'm gonna try and uh, hit this generate button as quickly as I can. So three, two, one, go! Generate, generate. Okay, this one is done. I think something's going something's not right okay let's try something different write me a song about uh, a voyage around the world uh, with a boat okay copy Based. Okay, let's try that. Three, two, one, generate, generate. Okay, the first one is done, and the second one is done. So yeah, as you can see, uh, I'm not timing it. So, but I'm, I'm guessing that uh, it's just uh, like uh, <laughs> what I feel. So this is far from a scientific method, but uh, I, yeah, the A100 does this task in like probably a third of the time that it would take an RTX 3090. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go, folks. That's the, um, it's not exactly apples to apples because the, uh, the server that the A100 uh, is installed is uh, actually a PCIe 4.0 and the server that uh, the uh, RTX uh, 3090 is installed is uh, PCIe 3.0 uh, yeah that I but uh, uh, I don't expect the results to be that much different in w real world uh, simply because uh, for the tasks that uh, for workloads that actually fit into the GPU memory like all of it uh, the PCIe generation doesn't really matter uh, I mean it, it matters just at the beginning uh, so yeah uh, yeah uh, there you go uh, hope you have liked the video if you did, uh, please like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, post them below. Uh, also, please uh, join the official Akash Discord server. We're all there. And uh, yeah, I'll be happy to help and to answer any of and all of your questions. So yeah, a big shout out uh, one more time to Scott Carruthers, who is the original creator of the uh, Falcon 40B uh, that I have used as a kind of as a, uh, a base for this deployment. And uh, yeah, there you go. See you in the next one.